Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. This June I will complete 10 years of experience in the IT industry. In a nutshell, I'm actually from a non-IT background, but I started my career as a Java developer with Tata Consultancy Services (TCS). Then I transitioned into different companies, domains, programming languages, and currently I am working with the top open source company in the world, and parallelly, I am also running this YouTube channel. Of course, I am doing good career-wise. This YouTube channel is also doing very well. But when I look back at the last ten years, I feel that I wasted the first three years of my career. If I would have followed the following five steps, I think. i would have been in a much better place the first 3 years are usually baby steps for anyone in the it industry because of lack of awareness or guidance we tend to do mistakes i feel i have done these five mistakes number 1 is i did not explore communities communities are very key especially in the cloud native space so if you want to create an impression or you know if you want to make a good career in the cloud native space i will highly recommend to participate in the communities so the first 3 years i have not participated in the communities of course i was doing the java development i was doing some uh, cloud migration uh, project then i also uh, moved on site where i was working in the europe but i have never explored the opportunities that communities provide today there are so many communities you can participate in the aws user communities you can participate in the azure user communities there are devops user communities and communities plays very critical role because experts in that particular community it can be aws or devops or anything they volunteer sessions and these sessions can be real time scenarios the practical issues that the uh, speakers have faced in their organizations which are very hard to find you might read a lot of blogs you might uh, but they are not physical when you participate in the communities you have that opportunity to interact with these speakers in the communities you can learn from their real time issues when they present about a particular new technology maybe you can also understand how that new technology fits in the devops or other organizations so participate in the communities that is the thing that i have missed in the first 3 years of my career second thing is freelancing opportunities yes so i was not even aware that there are freelancing opportunities that anyone can perceive i realized that after 4 years or 3 and 1/2 years of my career then i explored the freelancing opportunities one year i spent with a freelancing project there i learned aws so before i had cloud experience but that was with a different cloud platform when i learned about the freelancing opportunities created an account and when i explored this i got an opportunity to work on aws cloud and one year i have mastered the aws if i was not participating in this freelancing opportunities when you work in your organizations you get limited opportunities so this freelancing opportunities can be free freelancing opportunities can be paid if your organization does not allow you to work for any other paid assignments then you can also explore some free freelancing projects and you can learn technologies you can learn on real life problems again so explore freelancing it is very easy today just create an account there are so many freelancing websites and you can start working number 3 is conferences so i was in an assumption that conferences are only for experts i did not submit even a single paper till 4 years of my experience i did not even know how to write a cfp but then after 4 years i learned it is not at all difficult i also presented at 
international conferences i went and attended as a speaker trust me it's very simple only thing is you have to fail multiple times and then you can easily get an opportunity probably you can also start with some local opportunities there are a lot of local conferences that are taking place these days back then there were not many local conferences but today there are so many opportunities you can explore the local conferences give some cfps cfp is basically call for paper where if you want to attend as a speaker for xyz conference they will open the slots for cfps so you can put forward your proposal and if they like your proposal they will give you an opportunity as a speaker back then there were not many local conferences as i mentioned so mostly you have to try your luck with international conferences but today in hyderabad pune or wherever you are in the world there are so many of, of such conferences that are taking place so give your luck give your shot where you can submit some cfp and probably you also have chance to attend as a speaker but here i talk about number 4 not only about speaking engagements but it is also about the networking so when you attend the conferences the other thing that you will learn is from the peers who are participating in the conferences you will do a lot of networking i mean of course if you are active you can interact with other people working in other organizations and you can learn things that are happening in their organizations what are the challenges that they are facing so either you can participate in the conferences as a speaker let's say you are not at all getting this opportunity you can also participate as an individual you can buy the ticket or you can also get it sponsored so if you know someone who is sponsoring for that particular uh, conference or if you know someone who is uh, making arrangements for that conference you can also request them you can uh, get your ticket sponsored in the worst case you can look around for some conferences that are cheap and start your journey and do the networking so networking was other thing that i was missing i was doing all the things like i was learning java i was leading a project i moved on site i was working in europe so i had good amount of exposure but i did not knew that you can network with people in different organizations you can learn about different companies their culture what exactly are they doing only when i started exploring the conferences and networking i knew all of these things so probably you should also do this now some people might say but abhishek i don't have time to attend conferences or abhishek i am in a region where there are not many conferences i am working remote here let me talk about another thing okay probably uh, networking is something that you cannot do but still if you look at the conferences especially the conferences that are worth thousands they upload videos on youtube after the conference is over so if you look at cubecon mostly the speaking engagements or the speakers who have participated the workshops you will find them on youtube and if i look at the views for these videos on youtube they are hundreds in numbers people try hard to participate physically in those events but when the event organizers take that effort and upload that videos back in youtube i see hardly hundreds of people who are watching those videos so important thing in conference is not attending it if you don't have time if you cannot attend those conferences like for example right now i don't have time because i'm busy in youtube and i'm busy in my work but i make sure i listen to those videos once they are uploaded on youtube trust me some of these speakings speaking engagements or some of these speakers who are presenting they come with huge experience they are ctos of organizations they are uh, principal architects they are solution architects and they bring a different perspective to your uh, thinking to the cloud native space so definitely you should also take a look at this uh, youtube videos cubecon or aws reinvent all of these videos are available on the internet number 
is i was not active on linkedin for the first 3 years and to be honest i was not that active till the first 8 years of my career i am only active in linkedin once i started this youtube channel where i started posting about things but otherwise i was never active on linkedin and trust me this is one of the worst things that you can do i am not saying to post content every day on linkedin but there is so much knowledge on linkedin of course if you follow the right people people post about the vulnerabilities attacks that are taking place around the world people post about their uh, company challenges that they are facing people talk about new solutions people talk about new tools they are ctos who are in linkedin they are good knowledgeable people who are on linkedin and they keep sharing the success stories they keep sharing how they cracked uh, fang mang companies how they crack what is the uh, road map what is the strategy that they are following there are so many good architectural diagrams out there so i was missing all these things i think at least now if you are not doing these five things that i am mentioned in this video you should definitely take a look at these five things number 1 is communities number 2 is freelancing number 3 conferences 4 networking 5 linkedin so these were the five things that i was not doing in the first 3 years of my career and like i've mentioned i personally feel that i should have done these things and i also wanted to share this information with you all thank you so much for watching today's video do let me know if i have missed any important point probably you are doing something that i have missed definitely let me know in the comment section thank you so much see you all in the next video take care